When performing post-fill micro-monitoring, it's important to make sure we're taking a good quality sample. Here we see a flocked swab being taken on a flat surface. The swab is being methodically passed over a section of the surface and turned whilst doing so to ensure the transfer of any organisms present whilst plating out. When swabbing needles, Pass the swab over as much of the surface as possible whilst rotating it continuously. Ensure a minimum of five passes. For swabbing vertical surfaces such as door handles, a sufficient amount of the surface must be covered. Before plating out swabs, mark up the plate to ensure accurate identification. Cover as much of the surface of the agar as possible. Plates are inspected for coverage by micro staff. The tip of the swab must also be passed over the agar so that anything on it can be transferred onto the plate. A brief pass over the agar like the example shown here is not sufficient. Always use applicators for contact plates. These help you to press the plate onto the sampled surface for the correct duration without damaging the agar. You must wipe the residue of the agar from the surface you have sampled using IPA. Before you use any media, always remember to have a quick check of the expiry dates. Here are where the expiry dates can be found. 